controlling policy and connection profiles with the clientless SSL VPN. This is really important. There's a lot of VPN users out there that are coming in on the incorrect connection profiles and as a result are getting incorrect policy. We're going to identify why that happens and also how to solve it. Let's jump in. In this micro nugget, you and I are going to take a look at solving the problem of having users that connect and get into the wrong connection profile. They have the wrong policy assigned to them. It happens all the time. Here's the play by play. When a user connects, the ASA is going to associate that user with a connection profile based on the URL that they connected to or possibly giving a drop down menu to the user. Even worse. If the user picks the wrong connection profile and they authenticate, what happens is the policies from that user profile, let's say it's Bob, get applied and anything that's not specifically listed in Bob's profile is going to have Bob's group policy applied, which is also logical, but this guy right down here is a, is a son of a gun. Because if he came in on, for example, the sales connection profile, then whatever didn't get inherited or taken from these two policies, he's going to get from the wrong group. You're having a user authenticate successfully, but still gets whacked out policies because of the incorrect connection profile he came in on. Let's set the stage. We've got this user called engineering-user, and on a good day, that user connects. If they select the correct profile, connection profile, they then also authenticate. We give them the policy from their user account. We give them the policy from their group, and because they came in on the right connection profile, this group is the same as the group assigned to their user account. And that's it, they get that exact policy. Unfortunately, if it doesn't go so well, the user comes in maybe on sales connection profile. So they still get their user profile, they still get the group for engineering, but then guess what? Any unassigned previously attributes, they are now going to get from the sales group, which is not our intended purpose. So let's take a look at, at this user account with the engineering user and walk through the step-by-step -step process and see if you can identify with me where we went wrong. At the customer's machine, we'll bring up a browser. We'll go to the URL that we believe we're supposed to go to, and we'll press enter. And we now have a drop down list. This drop down list are the connection profiles. Now, I want you to think to yourself, have we gone wrong yet? And the answer is if the user is seeing this list and can choose anyone they want, rear, rear, <laughs> the alarm should go off. That's our first mistake. So, for example, this guy is in engineering. He looks at these connection profile alias and says, well, let's choose sales for whatever reason. Maybe he just missed it by that much. We log on as the user, ENG user, with whatever password specified. It says, welcome to the sales group. That's not enough to stop the average user, though. We click on continue, and poof, we're there. Now, I've got bookmarks. I've got some plugins. I've got some functionality. I'm thinking, well, life is pretty good. I got access to my network resources. The question could be, well, Keith, so what? He's in, he's got access, he's not calling us, he's fine. <laughs> the reality is from a security perspective, he has some policies being applied to him that he probably shouldn't. So he has this policy here from his user, he has this policy from his group, but check this out down here, the connection profile, because he came in on the sales connection profile, unfortunately, if there's properties that were not assigned here or here, but are in sales, he's gonna pick those up. And we can verify that really quickly from the command line also. At the command line, if we just want to take a look at the details for that session, it's going to show us the details right here. It says, yep, he came in, his username is engineering user, he, his group is engineering group, but the tunnel group, which is another fancy word for the connection profile, is the sales connection profile, which if we looked at the details for it, is linked to the sales group. So indeed is getting some bad policy right down here. To solve this problem, it's really simple. We're going to do three basic things. Number one, we're going to say no drop down list. <laughs> we're going to take it away so the user doesn't have the choice. Secondly, we're going to give him a URL because we do want him to be able to connect. We'll give him a custom URL that's just for his engineering group. And number third, we're going to lock him down so that if for some reason he gets somebody else's URL or we forgot and we left the drop down box and he chooses the wrong connection profile, we're going to stop him so that he cannot log in if by chance he came in on the wrong connection profile. Let's implement those three things right now. To implement these changes, we're gonna to go to our connection profiles page for the clientless SSL VPN and simply remove this checkbox. It says, allow the user to select the connection profile. Now it's gone, or it will be once we click on the apply button. The other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the engineering connection profile right here, edit it, and go down under advanced to the clientless SSL VPN and we'll provide him a beautiful URL just for him. 
and we'll specify ENG to make it nice and simple. He goes to that URL, it's going to automatically link it to this correct connection profile, which is the engineering connection profile. The one last thing we want to do is lock that user down so that if by some chance he goes to the wrong URL or he does get a drop down list, if we change policy in the future, he won't be able to log on unless he is coming in on the right connection profile. To do that, it's a user issue. So we'll go to that user, which is the engineering user. Go to the details under VPN policy. We want to go ahead and say right here, we want to lock you down. Mr. Engineering user, unless you come in on this connection profile, you are not going to be able to authenticate. Those are the three items that we've done. We'll apply it. We'll click on send. And now when this user goes to log on, let's bring him back up. CBTNuggets.com slash ENG. And that takes him right away directly to his correct connection profile. We'll log him in as engineering dash user and his password and he's in. And now he's not accidentally getting some type of policy based on coming in on the wrong connection profile. He is the engineering user right here and he is engineering group. And there's his connection profile, which earlier was an error. In this micro nugget, we've looked at what can cause the wrong connection profile to be selected, how to fix it, and how to lock a user to a specific connection profile. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.